He was giving a speech at a campaign rally in Waz Wazirabad in Pakistan when a gunman reportedly opened fire. This footage appears to show the politician being rushed into a car before leaving the scene. His supporters say that he survived the shooting. Our Asia correspondent Cordelia Lynch was at that rally and gave us this update. We are probably about 10 minutes' drive from the scene at the moment. I was with my cameraman, Duncan Sharp, on board. He had actually just been on top of the container. He'd been getting some shots of Imran Khan addressing the devoted uh, masses. It was a very heady atmosphere up there. Uh, I saw uh, women. Uh, I saw children. There was a real sense of sort of jubilance and buoyancy in the air. And a few people I spoke to had said that this felt different. This moment in Pakistan was unlike anything they'd seen before, unlike anything even they had seen when Imran Khan first took power. I'd been speaking to one of his senior team members who echoed this sentiment of his, that the genie was out the bottle, that the tide was turning, that people were sick at the economic ways of Pakistan, and they're about to see something different. So we saw thousands uh, of people on the street, a long line going perhaps up to a mile long and densely uh, populated. That crowd, there were people hanging um, uh, on various different buildings, lots of people taking photos, a real sense of optimism. And, yeah, and the container itself is not something I've experienced personally. It was very tightly packed team, mostly with his senior members downstairs. Upstairs, uh, of course, was where you to get a glimpse of him. He's been addressing the crowds on a daily basis. He starts this long march between uh, about between 1 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon, often going till 10 o'clock at night. Then he decamps back to Lahore overnight and then joins another step of this march. So despite the name, the long march, most of it, had not been done on foot. He has been in this container. He's had a convoy of vehicles supporting him. And the strategy was that they would just gather momentum uh, and, and gather support to try and push for these early elections. And each place uh, that they arrived at is going a lot slower than I expected. He thought by the weekend they'd be in Islamabad. Now they're saying that could be a week off. Uh, and uh, Imran Khan was telling me it, it is because they've been surprised just by the strength of support here. They're trying to strategically make sure they have the wind behind them and they're able to put this pressure on government. But this was a really rural area that was deeply in support of the PTI, Imran Khan's party. And that is uh, partly why uh, this attack on his life has come as a surprise. There was real shock and bewilderment in his team. Duncan and I uh, we're just there as one man was carried through with a bloody foot. The woman I had been speaking to at length for about 30 minutes, when I was asking what she believed had happened, she couldn't speak. There was just a deathly silence, a real concern. And at that point, we didn't know if the threat was still on board the container or outside. But as I say, speaking to a team member afterwards, uh, they were adamant that the shooter... Uh, and I am told these were gunshots had come from inside the bazaar, so the streets surrounding the container. I have to say, when I was there, you know, having been on uh, political party buses across the UK, as we will all be familiar with, it does feel very exposed. Uh, you're atop a bus, and there have been long worries about assassination attempts on Imran Khan's life. Uh, and here he was, for all to see, he's been spending hours every day on top of that container and today uh, an attack on him and it appears according to what we have been told by his team on three others 